Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to call jQuery code in Laravel Livewire component. So let's get started with an example and let's understand. So if you go here, so I've already created one component that's called, you know, product create page over here. So let me go here and that is the form like name, price and detail. And let me go here and let me show you, you can see over here, simply I call product create. So I will also change over here, that's called product create, save it. Okay, and there is a product create class over here, like name, price and detail. Same thing, if I go here, there is a simple form with the submit button, save it, okay. Now what I will do in this form, I will simply add one more column that's called publish date and I will add bootstrap date picker over there. So we will use jQuery code over there, okay. So you can see how we can easily use. So first of all, let me take one field. So I will simply go to the class and I will say dollar publish underscore date okay save it okay and now let me go here and i will simply copy this field add over here and i will simply say publish date text and i will simply say publish underscore date same thing i will bind with the publish underscore date okay now what we need to do for like call bootstrap date picker so first of all we need jquery so i will go here and simply copy this cd and script and go to the main our home.blad sorry layout so app.blad file here i will be simply put that okay save it okay same thing let me go here to the bootstrap date picker library you can see over here like it looks like this way but before using this you need to add ctn for that like jquery and css so i will simply copy this and paste it over here same thing I will copy the CSS okay and now paste it okay and now I want to add over here like for example I will say ID publish okay date okay simply save it so here I want to write like date picker bootstrap date picker I want to call so how you can do that simply you need to start script inside the component and I will say and script save it okay and here i need to add script tag okay simply so i will remove this entire thing okay and here what i will do simply copy this and go to the bootstrap documentation so simply go here and you can see that here i already use like this way so simply save it here i will be add like yy mdd format and i will remove these things as well okay and I will copy this ID and call with bind with this ID. Okay, simply save it. Okay, and now let me go here and simply refresh. Okay, and you can see here, you can see that perfect bootstrap date picker over here. Okay, now if I click on submit, okay, now what I will do, simply go here and create class. Here I will simply say info and I will say this publish underscore date and simply save it and let's see if we can get it or not simply remove this one okay clean the log file refresh it and here i will be say 24th january and submit it and now if i go you can see that we find nothing so that means when change the date okay so then you need to append also the value so let me go here and how you can do this so simply go here and i will call on event and here i will say change change date okay and here i will be say function and i will say e okay and here what i will do simply dollar this and i will say set and what was the variable name so i will say publish date and here i will be say email format and i will use same format yymdd save it so that means we will use live wire this attribute and add like publish date inside that so simply save it okay and now if i go and refresh it i will choose 17 and click on submit okay and now if i go here you can see that i am able to get why because you can see that on change event i simply set value inside the publish date okay so i hope guys you understand and now let me go here and i already added publish date sorry if i go here there is a already published date column over here so i will add over here let's call publish underscore date 
and I will say publish underscore date and let me create the record okay so same thing I will say product info and simply save it okay and now let me go here and I will refresh it yeah there is something wrong yeah comma separate I forgot it over here refresh it yeah so I will say test price will be 300 detail will be test and date will be 27th and click on submit yeah product is not found so what I will do yeah I will say product save it okay and if I go and refresh I will do test again and I will say 400 this time test and I will use 29 okay click on submit and now if I go here inside the log at the end you can see that product is created and if I go here refresh you can see that date as well so you understand how easily we can call jquery inside the live wire component so i hope guys you understand the simple way if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys